Andrew, how about that? LAX, delayed again. You were here six hours already. Now you guys can spend an extra two hours. How excited are you? I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> how was Hawaii? Oh, it was great. It was a great competition. It's um, special to be one of the first teams, or one of the first teams that started this event to go out there and uh, to be there. Um, it was awesome, awesome to be in Hawaii for about a week, but um, yeah, it's good to be coming home. You guys are uh, delayed a couple hours. I know that the weather is beautiful in Norman and Oklahoma City right now. Ice storm, right? Oh yeah. So that's is that what's delaying you guys, or is it what is it? I'm not sure. It says uh, waiting on an aircraft. So. Waiting on an aircraft. Sounds like tons of fun. But yeah. Hawaii, you know, you talk about that experience being one of the, uh, the the first teams to do that. What was it like for you? I know I got to watch a couple of your training sessions. You and Richard Perry wrestling a little bit, but uh, how was it for you beyond the being a coach? And being a guy who trains, did you get to go do any recreational things, hit the beach, snorkel, cliff dive, surf, whatever? Did you get to do any of that? Yeah, we, we, we got to do some things. Uh, my fiance and I, we went on a little uh, moped ride yeah. around the island and uh, found some beaches and fought some waves. So it was, that was a good day. Did you go to North Shore? No, we didn't make it there. Oh, man. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. Rough waves. Um, what's it like, you know, last year, your teammates with some of these guys? Now, you guys have a ton of freshmen, six freshmen starting for Oklahoma. Now you're, you know, Dust, you're Justin D'Angelo's his coach. What has that relationship been like? I asked, you know, you know, I asked Kendrick about it. How has it been for you, you know, teammates with guys for two years now, coaching them, what's that like? You know, it's different, um, but I have a lot of respect for those guys being on the team with them, and, and I, they have a lot of respect for me. So it, it's, a, it's a good relationship that we have, and uh, yeah, it's been good. You know, as far as you and your international career, look at us at 74 kilos in the United States of America. I think you're a guy who can win a world title. I think the biggest issue for you right now is getting on the team. What do you got to do? You know, you're going to Russia here. What do you got to do to get on that team? What, do, what does Andrew Howe need to do to be the guy, 74 kilos, to be positioned to win world title in Vegas, Olympic gold medal in, you know, Brazil? What do you got to do? I just need to, you know, tweak a few things and really put three, three to four of my best matches together. Um, and, and I know I can do that. I know I can be the guy. I'm looking forward to going to Russia. I, I like wrestling with foreigners, so uh, it's going to be a good experience. I'm excited about it. I think you're a really bad matchup for those guys when I look at you. You know, you're, you never break position. Your hands are so hard, and you got great leg attacks. When you're, when you're peppering guys with leg attacks, uh, you know, why are you such a bad matchup for those guys? And are you not a bad enough matchup? Like you told me earlier, you're not getting the success you really want against those guys. Why do you think that they just kind of are puzzled by you a little bit? I don't know. It's tough to say, but just um, you know, I just I know if I go out there and I, and I wrestle the way I want to, and uh, you know, not falling into what they want, then it's going to be a good result. When you know they want to pull you into a hip to hip seatbelt situation, what do you do? Do you just avoid that 100%? Um, I'm not afraid to wrestle there, but I, you know, like I said, you need to. I need to stay where I'm good, and 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 that's what's going to win. Do you think like a guy like Sargush, if you if you get to get go with a guy like Sargush, what do you gotta do to beat a guy like Dennis Sargush, you know, three time world champ? The guy is an absolute he's he's a monster. He's huge for seventy four kilos, by the way. What do you gotta do to beat a guy like Devin, Dennis Sargush? Just get to his legs and take him down. What are the what do you think those guys their biggest thing is whenever they're wrestling Americans? What what's the strategy? I don't know. Avoid do they avoid wrestling you like in the center? <clears throat> uh they, you know, they might give a little position, but you know they're going to go out there and wrestle their match, and, and I'm not really worried about that. So, can you feel when they're baiting you, like baiting you into positions? Sometimes, yeah. Do, do who do you talk to mostly about, like whenever you're going to go wrestle corners? Cody's over here going to be coaching the Oklahoma Sooners. Who do you kind of rely on as far as training partners and as far as coaches on our international team? Who do you look to? I work out with you know a lot of college guys in Oklahoma, and then you know these trips are really really great. I'm able to. Uh, <laughs> I'm able to, uh, you know, find some other assistant coaches who are, who are still working out, and uh, that's why I really look forward to these. Getting some different workout partners on, on these trips, and uh, yeah. I look at uh, you and Richard Perry going the other day. He looked huge. And Richard's tough, you know. He won the, the Bill Farrell invite. He's an outstanding wrestler. He beat Olympic silver medalist. Beat Deron Wynn. He won a tough weight. The guy's he's legit. 
you were you were dominating all the positions that I was watching. Is there a chance we could see you go up a weight? Is there a chance for Greco? Is Andrew Howe 74 kilos freestyle through 2016? What, what what's going on there? I'm gonna say 74 kilos and I'll be wrestling freestyle. No Greco. No. Kyle Dake just did a Greco match. That's not anything in your future whatsoever. Matt Lindland hasn't been peppering you with text messages and phone calls. As of now, uh, I'm wrestling freestyle. All right, I think we, we get your wrestling freestyle. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Looking at uh, being a coach, do you get to focus on wrestling and training freestyle as much as you want to? Yeah, I do. You know, uh, Co Cody's a really, really flexible. He's let he lets me go. Uh, you know, I went to Iran earlier in the uh, actually late November. Went to Iran. Uh, now I'm going to going to Uregan. So. He, he's flexible and he lets me do these things and still, uh, you know, lets me go chase my dreams. Does anyone really like going to Russia as far as us? Do, do you like it? Is it something where you're like, oh man, I can't wait to go to Russia? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of traveling, but uh, it's okay. You know, it's, it's what you need to do. It's what, it, it's where the, the competition is and, and that's it. Do you look forward to matches with Jordan Burroughs, you know, Kyle Dake? David Taylor, an old, you know, uh, Tyler Caldwell, do you look forward to those 70 kilo, uh, you know, domestic matches? Do you look forward to wrestling guys like that? Yeah, yeah, those are, you know, those, that's why you do it, those, those big time matches, so it just makes it fun. Besides Jordan, you're probably the most experienced of the guys, you know, you're in the Olympic trial finals where you, when you hurt your knee versus Jordan. Does the experience help you when you're wrestling those guys, do you think? Yeah, experience, it's always gonna help. So. All right, you got anything else for me? No. Are you, are you pumped to go sit and wait for a flight for two more hours? Two more hours. How about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for the time. Good luck at the Uregan in Russia, okay. and uh, good luck coaching. Yeah, thanks.